Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Thank you for joining us on 7 at 7 this evening. I'm Arlette Youssef. We begin with Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. The man accused of orchestrating the killing of hip-hop icon Tupac Shakur was back in court this morning. Review Journal's Anaya Collins has more on what happened. The man who allegedly killed Tupac, Dwayne Keefe D. Davis, appeared before a judge in court. Davis was accompanied by his lawyer Carl Arnold, making him the third representative for the case. With newly added defense, the case is starting from scratch. His lawyer has not prepared to present any evidence to the court. His defense's angle is to use the lack of evidence to set Keefe D. free. Right now, the state hasn't provided any evidence to corroborate the statement that he's given. Davis was concerned about his family remaining anonymous while posting his $75,000 bail due to the amount of media coverage the case has garnered. They just want to maintain their privacy, so that's why he has those concerns. A status check is scheduled to review the collected evidence on April 23rd, with the trial date set for November 4th. A man is dead after allegedly charging at officers with a weapon near Southeastern Avenue and East Sahara Avenue. Las Vegas police say they received a report of a suicidal person just before 1 a.m. In a press release, Metro said police arrived on scene to find a Caucasian man armed with a bladed weapon. After officers tried to disarm him, he allegedly charged at officers, causing them to shoot. A survivor of a hookah lounge shooting nearly two years ago is suing for negligence. In 2022, several men entered Manny's Glow Lounge and Restaurant, an unlicensed business on East Sahara Avenue, and opened fire, killing one person and injuring 13, including Toy Schneider. Now, Schneider is suing the lounge's owners and employees. The suit claims they failed to take adequate security measures despite knowing about significant criminal activity in the area. The Tropicana Avenue Bridge over Interstate 15 has reopened. The system was temporarily removed for the Super Bowl to ensure smooth traffic between the resort corridor and Allegiant Stadium. The I-15 southbound off-ramp to Tropicana both east and west and the Tropicana on-ramp in both directions to I-15 northbound are now open to traffic. Work on the south side of the Tropicana Bridge kicks off phase three of the four-phase project and is expected to last through the fall. In weather sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every bloomin' thing. Occasional showers continue in tonight's forecast with evening temperatures around 50 degrees. Rain will clear Wednesday with partly sunny skies expected throughout the day. The daytime high reaching 65 degrees and evening lows in the mid-40s. Thursday and Friday, we'll see partly cloudy to sunny skies as well. The daytime highs for both days reaching the mid to upper 60s. Evening lows expected to be in the lower 50s and upper 40s. And in business news, a discussion on future Formula One races that was planned for today has been delayed. The Clark County Commissioners plan to discuss the county's involvement in the upcoming Las Vegas Grand Prix events. Uh, F1 said, hey, we're going to work with the county officials and make sure they're involved as well. So it looks like they're getting on the same page. It's just going to take some time before they bring it to the public meeting. Commission Chairman Tick Siegerblum also said the county never signed an agreement to host the race for at least three years. But the county did approve a resolution last year that recognized the race as an annual event for a decade. A highly anticipated wine bar and shop is opening this Saturday at the Uncommons in southwest Vegas. It's a play on Wino. It's spelled W-I-N-E-A-U-X. It's a wine shop and a retail shop. It's got some super big names behind it. There's going to be wines for newbies and wines for casual sipping. And then there will be highly allocated wines for people who collect. The new location will be at 6887 Helen Tolan Street and will be open every day of the week, except Tuesdays. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The Raiders are expected to name former Broncos offensive coordinator Rich Scangarello as their new quarterback coach per Tom Pelissero of the NFL Network. He'll replace Bo Hardegree, who was not retained by the team, following his stint as interim offensive coordinator. Fred Walker, who was an offensive assistant for the Silver and Black over the past two years, is expected to be promoted to assistant quarterback coach. 
in Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital. We're here for you when you need us. A study originally meant to track symptoms of COVID-19 may also offer a clue about treating depression. Over 20,000 people were given fitness trackers as part of the study. The researchers found that participants with higher body temperatures also reported higher rates of depressive symptoms. It's not clear if the higher temperature is a symptom of depression, but researchers hope the discovery can lead to a non-pharmaceutical treatment in the future. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The 2024 PGA Tour heads to Nuevo Vallarta, Mexico this weekend for the Mexico Open from Vidanta Vallarta. The action is slated to start Thursday, February 22nd and goes through Sunday, February 25th. Tony Finau, who won the Mexico Open in 2023, is the plus 700 favorite to win the event at Caesar Sportsbook. He's followed by Nikolai Hogar at plus 1600. Canadian Taylor Pendrith is the third choice at plus 1800. In lifestyle news brought to you by Casablanca Hotel and Resort. The Meadows School Summer Camp and Activities Expo is back next month to connect families with local and national summer camps. The free 20th Annual Expo is happening March 2nd from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Meadows School Gym in Summerlin. The camps offer a variety of activities from performing and fine arts to science and technology. And new this year, Meadows Signature Camps including sports, debate, archaeology, and more. In entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's has a live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Here's Review Journal's John Katsilamidis with the latest on Bruno Mars performing in Las Vegas. Time flies for Bruno Mars. He is established as the longest running headliner at Dolby Live, which opened in 2016 as Park Theatre at Park MGM. Mars has now added 12 shows to his residency from June 7th through September 1st of this year. Mars, of course, has just opened the Pinky Ring at the Bellagio. He's also had a residency with Anderson Pack in Silk Sonic. He is going to be here for a while, both at Dolby Live and now at the Bellagio. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 tonight. Tell your friends and family they can catch us from all around the country by searching Review Journal on any of the platforms listed. We'll see you tomorrow morning for 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.